Hi. Just got out of surgery? Mm. Seven hours. Wow. Marathon. Everything go okay? Of course. You look beat. Yeah, nothing 16 hours of uninterrupted sleep won't cure. Oh, how about a hot shower and a change of clothes? I think I'm going to go for the sleep, unless the shower's an open invitation. You forgot. Forgot what? My dad is getting married to Molly today. Oh, yeah, right. That. Yeah, and I feel that I need to go there and support my father. Of course you do. I applaud you for that. Oh, good. So you're coming? Nope. Read. I don't need to tag along with you. Yeah, but I want you to come. Oh, I'm sorry, Luke. Count me out. I'm not going to be there. You know, weddings just really aren't my kind of thing. Oh, come on. Who doesn't like weddings? Why not? I think they are foolish spectacles dedicated to the archaic notion of making vows and promises you probably can't keep. Ah, so this is your ever-so-clever way of saying that you think that love doesn't last. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. You know that. I'm just saying that you don't need a lot of phony pomp and circumstance to seal the deal. You know... It's a really good thing that you're a brain surgeon and not a marriage counselor. My advice would save a lot of people a lot of headaches. So you're saying that you don't believe in love? I'm saying I don't believe in ceremonies. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, not all the vows and pretty poetry in the world can change that. You know, Dr. Oliver, you are a real killer romantic. Love should be pragmatic, that's all. You know, I think that you're just trying to rile me up, but guess what? I'm not biting. And this isn't just about the wedding. You know, this would be our first time out together, you know, as a couple. Uh, if you want to be seen as a couple, I will take you out for a nice dinner. We can sit right in the center of the restaurant where everybody will see us holding hands. Reed, don't be a jerk. Come on. I'm just asking for you to come with me for a couple hours and watch my father and Molly do something that will make them very, very happy. And I'm just telling you that I don't really want to go. So, you wouldn't make the sacrifice, not even for me. And besides, you know, I think it'd be very good for you. How do you figure that? It will give you a chance to work on your people skills, Mr. Soon-to-be Chief of Staff. My people skills are fine. Oh, yeah, with people under anesthesia, they're fantastic. But people who are walking and talking, no, 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 not so much. Fine, I will work on my people skills, but not at the wedding. If I don't get some sleep, my doctor skills are gonna need a lot of work, so... I'll see you later. Abigail! Ah, hey! hey brother! How are you? How's oh. LA life? Oh, it's sunny. Yeah, yeah. you can tell. <laughs> hey, Carly. Hi. Molly, how do you feel? Take a guess. <laughs> so where's Dad? Uh, we're doing that old-fashioned thing. Oh, you're staying apart? How very 20th century. Ah, don't make fun. It's romantic. <laughs> Hopelessly romantic. Come on, let's go try my dress. Mm. Hey, uh, want some coffee? Sure. So, uh, this must be kind of weird for you, huh? Yeah, it is what it is. Is that it? Well, you know, it is kind of odd to see my dad marrying somebody else. I always sort of thought that my mom and dad would end up together. That might be kind of childish, though. Oh, well, I never thought that my dad would end up with my mom, but... I mean, here we are. They're planning on getting married today. It's a funny life. Yeah, funny and crazy and everything in between. But, you know, as long as Dad's happy, I'm happy. Really? I mean, you kind of don't look happy. You kind of seem upset. Well, that has nothing to do with the wedding. hey -o. Luke! I have a hey. feeling. How are you? Good. Uh, where's Carly? I, I need to talk to her right away. But he's going to get back in time, right? Hey, you know your dad. He'll do whatever he has to. Wow. Oh, Mom must be freaking out. Well, you know what? If he made it out before the storm, he'll be here. Yeah. I wonder if my mom's going to be with him. You know, that's the thing. Why would he even go out there? What kind of trouble is your mom in? I don't know. All I know is that she and Carly started some fragrance company in the factories based in Marseille. Well, it must be really serious for Dad to fly all the way out to France the night before his wedding. Oh, let me try and call him. Straight to voice now. Oh. Uh, well, that could mean he's already on the plane. No, it says that, that because of that storm in the Atlantic, 
All westbound flights out of Europe are delayed or canceled. Try not to be too pessimistic. No, it's, it's not that. It's just, I can't believe that he would take this kind of a chance. I mean, I can't believe he'd risk not getting back in time. Well, I'm sure he thought he would. Yeah, but he still took the risk. I it, mean, he went to be with Lily. But, but we, we don't know why. I'm sure there's a good explanation. <sighs> well, what a mess. <laughs> I mean, is it me or does love just seem way too complicated to deal with sometimes? No, no, it is not just you. Love <laughs> is way too complicated to deal with sometimes. Yeah. Uh, too early or too late? What are you doing here? You invited me. Remember something uh, about our wedding? I expected it to be low-key, but where is everybody? Hi, I'm Abigail. You must be Noah. Ha-ha, <laughs> no. I'm Dr. Reed Oliver. Oh. Ah, uh, yeah, there's been, um, some changes in my life. <laughs> Apparently, uh, I just let a big fat elephant in the room, didn't I? <laughs> it's to be expected. So you two are... Uh, well, would you like to tell her, or should I? Don't make it so complicated. Luke and I are together. Almost all the flights that did take off were diverted to Canada or Greenland until the storm passes. Almost, but not all. Okay, we need to start preparing for the fact that Holden may not make it. No, no, not yet. There's still time. The storm could blow over quickly. Why chance it? Why not just postpone the wedding until tomorrow? Molly will understand. If the wedding gets postponed, it'll be Molly's call. Nobody else's. Look, I'll try to call Dad again. Send you out here to tell me everything's gonna be all right? Nope. I only say that in that operating room. I never can make that claim anywhere else. A cynical doctor. How refreshing. <laughs> Especially with the romantic stuff, as Luke keeps pointing out. Maybe you should take it to heart. My uh, brain won't let me. What did sentimentality ever do to you? It's the hypocrisy I can't stand. It's the, the residents in this town seem to swap partners as easy as I change socks. Not all of them. Most of them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, you and Luke? Case in point. Luke and Noah seemed inseparable months ago. Nothing certain. Thank you for coming out here to cheer me up. <laughs> I'm just saying that nothing's forever in this world. As human beings, we're hardwired to cope with that. Maybe. But that doesn't make it any easier. It is what it is. Things change. People move on. Lucky for you. And for you. Well, when you put it that way. <laughs> yeah, I'm just rambling. I and mean, why listen to me anyway? What do I know? I'm a uh, brain guy, not a heart guy. No, my dad's phone is still going to voicemail. Well, hopefully that means that he's still in the air, that he's on his way, right? Yeah. Does anyone know where my mom is? She went for a walk. The kids are getting hungry. They want a snack. Oh, uh, here. This should do the trick. And thanks for keeping him occupied. I'd hate for them to worry that something's wrong. They kind of already suspect it, but I'll do my best to distract them. I appreciate it. Thanks. Do you think that my dad's going to make it to his own wedding? We're all hoping. Cheer up, everybody! <laughs> it's not the first time a groom's been late to his own wedding. In the meantime, let's just do everything in reverse. What do you mean? Jack, open up a bottle of sparkling cider. We can at least start the celebration part. That's a plan? What did you say to her? Nothing. Just that love sucks. <laughs> Great. Well, it worked. She's dealing with it. See, I told you I have people skills. <laughs> Lady. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jack. You're very welcome. Okay, boys. Thank you. Okay, everybody, I'd like to make a toast. Oh. 
Here's to coping when bad things happen. Story of my life.